episode 24 of Cool Album Covers. I'm Mark Major. I'm Rich Bachelor. This episode is called Hands. And we begin with Benny Goodman, the Goodman Touch, on 10-inch magical vinyl. Capital Records. The Goodman Touch, is that like the Colbert bump that he gives to political candidates? It has nothing to do whatsoever with the Malachi Crunch from Happy Days. Which jumped the shark. <laughs> yes, it did. And it uh, gave it the old uh, East St. Louis toodaloo and uh, the Columbia necktie and uh, the uh, quiggly down under and uh, the backwards handshake and the, uh, anyway. And a rusty venture. Look at him caressing his licorice stick there. He, uh... I wouldn't have called it that at first, but now that you've brought it up... People who did not realize that in a later age we would have irony used to actually refer to clarinets that way, but now it just sounds so gross. I have to say that the clarinets has kind of become sort of a girl's instrument according to middle school band curriculum. Yeah, I would say that's true. However, it is true that it always was a big Jewish guy instrument, as was the case here with, you know, the most famous big Jewish guy who played the clarinet of all time. Woody Allen? It's Woody Allen. This is really a Woody Allen uh, story. (laughs) <laughs> Let's move on to one of my favorite covers of all time. Which one of the hands is tapping, do you I think? I don't know. It's a clap, snap, tap. But there's a lot of hands on this cover. We need some more hands on this cover. And tap. But uh, I don't know. It's just a cool cover. Let's move on, shall we? Santo and Johnny. Yeah, the people who brought you Daydream. You know that boo song that is the soundtrack to every movie about the 1950s? Is it Daydream or is it Sleepwalk? Or perhaps it's called Sleepwalk. I forget. I bet you it's both, because if they had a hit with Sleepwalk, I'm sure someone said, write us something like it and give us a similar title. And like, all right, it's called Daydream. Here's our latest tune. It's called Sonambulism. And there's like, you're not going to... Never mind. Encore, Santo and Johnny. So, yeah, I don't know if that's Santo's hands or Johnny's hands. It scarcely matters, I suppose. Well, it sounds like one of them's probably narcoleptic. So, this cover, All Day Thumb Sucker, is a compilation on Blue Thumb Records... From, I believe, 1971, sometime very early, early 70s. Here you see who is probably the girlfriend of the owner of Blue Thumb Records, told to go sit on a giant piece of modern art sculpture and suck her thumb. And I can just totally hear the conversation that led up to this moment. It's like... Is she wearing pants? Well, uh, at very least, she's wearing really short shorts, man. I don't know. And indeed, is there a finger missing from the sculpture and we can't see it because well it looks like it's made out of paper mache and it's probably crushed and he's like no just go ahead Trina go over there and just 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 do what I tell you okay like, I understand you Marty and then what is this room they're in are they like outside someone's apartment that is exactly what that looks like that looks like the landing outside of a particularly shabby apartment in oh let's say San Francisco in 1971 well this is starting to look like a really high budget cover at this point now it, which is funny, considering that a lot of the people on the record, even at the time, would have been high-ticket artists. Most of them are dead now, by the way. But Well, good for them. Yeah. Oh, Albert Collins? Yeah. It's mostly blues compilation. Blue Thumb Records. Yeah, Chicago Blue Stars. Yeah. And, of course, the Ainsley Dunbar disaster, or whatever the name of that band was, because, again, it, my favorite song on there. Ike and Tina Turner? Yeah. Love? Yeah. T-Rex? Yes! But T-Rex is listed here as Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, it's before they became T-Rex. And Southwind before they became Hawkwind. Just guessing. Just guessing. Good guess. I don't know. Shall we move on? Oh, sure. This is the final cover of our season. This is of greatness. And this is also the first cover of the season, which we opened up with jazz. Oh, this is coming home to Ithaca, bro. What a fantastic cover. We've talked about this one, but let's talk about it one more time. Infinite Keyboards. Who doesn't love the Infinite Keyboards and those cold, chilling hands of death? Yeah, it's true. Even when he was alive, he was dead. Yes, exactly. Yep, this is uh, this is our guy. He's like an avatar to us. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say about this cover before we conclude? Yes, I would. Thank you and good night. <laughs>